I think one of the interesting things about the sorts of systems that you work on and that I used to work on is that they're often kind of pushing at the edges of what's possible in some dimension. Um, and, and you were talking before about doing this in the cloud and, and, and so on. And I'm really intrigued to explore some of that. But in terms of the raw throughput and response time of computers, this is really, you know, leading edge stuff very often. It gets you into the guts of some pretty technical things. So how did you start off? What got you interested in this kind of game? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, it is very much as simple as, you know, I took a performance programming course in college as an impressionable sophomore, uh, went to a career fair and uh, got roped into this wonderful world of exchanges. I, you know, I, I wanted to, you know, sort of run machines like they were sort of race cars and I was very interested in the inner workings of memory and building responsive systems and so happened that an opportunity popped up uh and promptly joined the team and here i am decade you know decade and some odd later it's it, it's been quite a ride it, it, it is indeed, and I, 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 I like. We were talking before, and and I, I like that analogy of of race cars. It's you know, as we were discussing before, it's it's kind of like the Formula One of computing, where it's not exactly the same as what regular car drivers see, but it kind of often influences things that come later because it's. It's, it's such a challenging domain. And I, and I think it's interesting from that point of view. I wondered if you could paint a picture of just how fast these sorts of systems are. Yeah, absolutely. I think in general, we, um, you know, our systems, we provide, uh, we provide a responsive system that will respond to requests sent to us. Um, packet comes in to us with the request packets got to come out, we would say, you know, in the P99.9s and under uh, a millisecond, I think. Um, and at least in our current uh, world in the cloud, this is now possible. And so we've done it. We, mm -hmm. uh, we provide clients with some expectation that they're going to get their um, feedback on what they've sent us almost instantly. So that's, that's really interesting, particularly you saying you, that, that you're being able to achieve these sorts of times in the clouds. Certainly in my time, we were talking about often dedicated, well, dedicated hardware, hardware co-locating co um, mm -hmm. you know, trading systems uh, close to the exchange to limit speeds of light and so on. So how do you do this kind of thing? What are the challenges, I suppose, of doing this kind of thing in the cloud? Um, I think the big one is that uh, uh, largely, you know, in a previous life, that was the way we had built these systems, right? We had built systems that, yeah. you know, the server was next door from the clients that really cared, right? Mm -hmm. But I think um, what has actually happened is the, uh, the advances in sort of networking technology over the past decade have actually made it so that... Um, you know, networking speeds are quite high, and yeah. the, the 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 commodity cloud providers can get you fairly, you know, very good hardware, um, very close geographic location, um, you know, in and it's now at everyone's fingertips. And so, for us, right, we um, when we built out uh, a new company trying to build an exchange from scratch this now opened a lot of possibilities for us to be able to actually build one of these platforms in a short amount of time. And indeed that's the promise of the cloud, right? Mm -hmm. The, you, you trade off um, sort of uh, st stability of owning the, the hardware you've got yourself for the ability to spin up anything at your fingertips in a, uh, you know, an infrastructure as code manner. You don't need to now provision teams of folks who've got lots of experience wiring uh, wiring um, Ethernet and, you know, InfiniBand and solar flare cards together, you, you, you know, a lot of this stuff is actually now out there for all of us to play with. So yeah. this now democratizes access to capital markets in, in a way that I think is going to be a huge change in, um, in the future. 
I, I, I assume, though, that the the nature of the uh, that substrate that, that you're relying on in the cloud is kind of different to if you're buying a a, a regular kind of you know, website that you know you, that's going to be sharp, you know, scaling through sharding and uh, and you know denormalize the data and all of those sorts of things because a lot, a lot of those problems are are not really those those mechanisms aren't really open to you in the same way I assume. So, I think that um, there's there's sort of some famous like. Um, some famous uh, numbers out there, sort of the the ten things, uh, ten numbers every programmer should know, and and there's a lot of actual great uh, public information out there about what the actual num latencies are between various things, and yeah. what you can do is you find yourself building from first principles, right? If I'm going, if I know that a write out to a managed database is X number of milliseconds, it it, it makes the question very simple. You you don't you you then will not use some of that stuff in the hot path if you want to provide low latency, but it it actually is a great exercise in actually um, you know removing most of the the tooling that you're maybe assuming you're bringing into any software endeavor and you're actually picking and choosing you're you're going out to the store and picking the tools that you want to to get what you need and some things clearly. Um, don't apply right now for for those timescales, but um, you have to keep things very simple. Um, mm -hmm. And so, you know, what we what we've sort of commonly said is like simplicity is going to give you stability, uh, speed, and development speed, and uh, sort of program speed. And so, you're piecing together um, small. You're composing together little technologies and concepts, and um, and actually making very simple systems that you then productionize and harden. You know, using all of the principles that you've developed building sort of web scale systems in the cloud, right? So yeah. it's 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 definitely a fun intellectual exercise here, but it is very much a back to basics thing. It's not quite yeah, I, so. I, I, in that there's no respect, arcane I, stuff. Yeah, and in that respect, I guess it's it, it's really the same game. It's just that somebody else is doing the provisioning of those environments for you, and mm -hmm. uh, and so on. But you're still looking to have those numbers in your head and figure out the optimizations and uh, and uh, you know your choices where you can afford to you know be a little bit slower for some for some value and where where not. I, I also I also I also really like the thing that you said, which was definitely part of my mantra when when working on high performance systems is you know a high performance system is simpler than a conventional system and not more complicated because by definition we want to be able to do the most work with the with, with the least number of instructions kind of and so I, I often have this conversation with people that are striving to write you know uh, improve the performance of their systems and saying you don't want to make it more more complicated you want to make it simpler nearly always and, and and certainly one of the things that we were doing with 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 uh, lmax when we were built our exchange was was tuning things and to to to, to make sure that we're getting the most out of compilers and those sorts of technologies so and, and that works better with simple code so i'm pleased i'm very pleased to hear you say you know reconfirming my my um uh, uh, uh reconfirming my prejudices i suppose <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think a big a big piece in sort of the software world is, you know, there's all all in sundry awesome great technologies that are all really fun and in, in, in indeed a lot of those technologies are near and dear to my heart. It's the way that they're implemented. It's all um very it's all very interesting and you want to sort of build up this huge tool chest of a lot of things, but I think when you're going at the edges, you've got to strip away most things and really focus on what is necessary. And yeah. so less is definitely more when it comes to ultra low latency.